okay, I've got a not so fun connection between cortisol and your SEX life. If you have noticed that you feel like your libido is in like the absolute tubes right now and you just cannot either get in the mood or can't seem to get off, and you also feel like your stress level is through the roof, chances are it's probably because your cortisol level, aka the stress hormone that is inside of your body, is drastically high. And this can be caused from things like, I don't know, the world right now, or money stress, life stress, family stress, parent stress, relationship stress. I mean, raise your hand if you're stressed, okay? But the reality here is, is that most women, as well as men, live with chronic stress, and it is putting our libido in the tubes. Not to mention our chances of having it out. And then, of course, the diminished SEX drive is going to worsen relationship problems, because it's going to draw a physical line between you and your partner. And it's kind of like a ruthless cycle because it causes more stress, creating almost like a clock block, if you know what I'm saying. Too much cortisol is going to lower testosterone, which is literally the hormone which makes you feel like desire and like arousal. It also lowers DHEA. And it also causes things that can lead to like weight gain, like a happy sex drive, and can also lead to like insomnia. Not to mention the non-SEX related things that cortisol can do. An overall hectic mind, anxiety and depression, and of course bad habits like smoking, like excessive drinking. So how do you reclaim your SEX life? Number one, manage your stress. I know, I know, easier said than done. Get out of your toxic friendship, start journaling, um, take a personal inventory of what is causing you stress and what is something you actually need to be micromanaging. Number two, start eating right. Okay, and I'm not talking like all microwavable meals, stop eating out as much, learn to cook if you don't know how to cook. Three, take a supportive supplement. L-theanine is a great supplement to help with stress. Um, there's a lot of different things like natural based supplements, like the good mood supplement as well. Four, go to sleep. Sleep is one of the best things that you can do for stress because when you're not tired, you can manage your stress better and introduce a Smegs toy into the mix because when you smash mate, it can help with your happy hormones. And the more happy hormones you have, the more likely you are to cope better with stress. And of course, consider therapy. I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of professional help when it comes to any type of thing where you're experiencing too much stress.